Good morning. It is 6.35 on November 17th, Saturday morning. I am just at my house and getting ready to jump in the car to head out to Killarney. Uh, I'm going to be camping with the hot tent tonight at George Lake Campground. I've never actually camped at the campground in Killarney. I've only ever done backcountry trips there. So I'm kind of excited to check out the campground. Um, supposedly they close the gates because they don't want people to get stuck. So I brought my sled so I can sled my stuff into the site. And uh, it should be lots of fun. I'm going to test out the new um, stand that I made. Uh, check it out in the snow and see how that all works. And I also have a cot that I bought last year that I never got to use because of my concussion. <laughs> Um, so I'm super excited to actually not sleep on the ground for a change and sleep kind of up uh, halfway in the air. I don't know if some of you saw, but last year I did a test in the hot tent and uh, I put the thermometer at my pillow. It was two degrees and put the thermometer halfway up the tent and it was 29 degrees. So it should be a lot warmer for me up there and I'm um, super excited. Also meeting up with James Roberts and Dipna Hayes from Ontario Sea Kayak Center, my kayaking coaches. Um, super excited to be hanging out with them and uh, for a change not kayaking, which is really strange, but should be a lot of fun. So um, I can't wait to see them and of course beautiful Molly's coming, their dog. So um, should be quite the little adventure. I'm going to get going, so I'll see you soon. have arrived at Killarney Provincial Park and uh, I'm just going to find a campsite and walk around and see if there's a good one for us uh, while I'm waiting for James and Dipna to get here. I found a site that looks really nice and uh, I'm heading back to the office to get the permit and get my stuff and hopefully James and Dipna will be here soon. Hope they like the site. <laughs> All right, well, James and Dibna have arrived. They're uh, packing up their sleds, and I've got my sled all packed up and ready to go. Um, I have way too much stuff, though, <laughs> and uh, I'm not sure how convenient this stand is going to work out, but I'm still going to give it a try. to the site and I'm pooped. <laughs> I brought my stand out here and um, I've already realized that I'm probably not going to end up using it especially in the back country because it's too big and doesn't fit on the sled very good. Um, I have way too much stuff on my sled so um, but I'm still going to use it just to test it out but I think it's going to end up being more for um, setting it up in the basement stuff okay. like that so anyways here we go.
Not good. Not good. No, the corners are coming up, and I was like, I'll bury them in the snow, but I put the snow on it, and they just pop right back up. tense up on the stand. It does work, but uh, the corners are curling up and um, I buried it in the snow. I thought, well, I'll just put snow on the ends of it, but the snow is so light, it just pops right back up. So I'll come and uh, grab the camera and film it and show you, but uh, I'm going to take it off and uh, bring it back to the car. I have to go get the firewood anyways. And um, it's okay. You know what? Shit happens, but I'm really happy because I can still set it up in the basement and I can work on it and do renos in it and air it out and uh, set it up at shows like I will be doing uh, at the Winter Symposium and at the Quiet Water Symposium. So eh, not all is lost, but you know what? Sometimes you have an idea and you give it a try and it works, like my tent. <laughs> and sometimes you have an idea like the stand and it kind of works, but not exactly how you want it to. And that's okay. I tried and I'm glad I gave it a shot and uh, it's still going to be useful to me, just not in the way that I wanted it to be, so that's all good. Now well, we're all set up and we're having a nice little snack. We've got a nice assortment of things, hummus, cheese, and the nems, almonds, hot chocolate with Baileys, of course. I'm not sure what James is drinking over there. Tea and bourbon. This is a uh, wild sweet orange tea and bourbon. It's a good mix. Sounds good. All right, bon appetit. I'm here right now in Killarney Campground and we're here with E.T. E.T. has landed on our campsite. <laughs> oh my gosh. E.T., how did you Do get you like here? camping? <laughs> E.T., I think, is in shock right now and he can't seem to speak, but we'll come back later and talk to him. <laughs> Thanks, E.T. Bye-bye. Oh, this is camp. Jim and James have their water bottles out here. Uh, some bags. Oh. Windy. I'm on like a cliff right beside the water, but I like it. <laughs> so I just got my uh, bin there. There's nothing in it actually. I can just put it outside, but I'll probably put my chair here later. And I'll just use that as a little table. Got my cot. Uh, luxury camping. Uh, I'm going to be nice and warm being halfway up. Meanwhile, uh, Dimpin and James are going to be freezing in there under their tarp. Uh, maybe not. I don't know. Got some warm sleeping bags and some good gear. So, my wood over there and my little axe just to cut up a couple little small pieces to put in the fire. Got the kettle there with some water in it ready to go up there after our little hike and warm us up, make some tea, and uh, my water over there. So, really, really nice day here in Killarney Provincial Park. All right, well, my feet were starting to get a little cold because they were wet, because I was sweating earlier, and so I've been in the snow and the cold. Um, not that cold out, it's like minus three. I think it's about minus nine with the wind chill, but um, changed my socks, and my feet are good to go. I really like the, uh, these hiking boots, I miss them, they're so warm. <sighs> well, James and Dempna have decided to just camp under a tarp. So James has got this set up really sweet. <laughs> uh, I've always admired James's tarping skills. So they've got all their bedding and stuff down there and their sleeping mats and they're just gonna sleep out here so <laughs> meanwhile I'm gonna have the luxury of being in my lovely hot tent and I'm gonna be toasty warm and I'm okay with that <laughs> and doing some snowshoeing, which is awesome because it's November <laughs> and usually this month is kind of hard for camping because it's really wet and cold and yucky and it's just like, it's 
too damp. You don't want a summer camp, but I'm not a fan of cold camping. I did it last weekend because it wasn't that cold. It's about the same temperatures this weekend. Almost the same. But uh, I got the hot tent tonight, so super excited. I got the stove going before we left to warm it up, and it was super hot in there uh, in no time. And it's going to be nice to go back there and just sit down and hang out and have some drinks and be warm. <laughs> See, they don't know it, but I'm in the best spot on the trail because I'm last. And that means that they are breaking the trail for me. And I get to walk on a nice packed down snow. Thanks, guys. Well, Molly is getting the princess treatment. She was a little bit chilly, so she's gotten wrapped up in a foil blanket. Oh, James's fire is so pretty. What do you got going on there, James? Uh, garlic naan. Just garlic butter and naan. That's all you need. Two great ingredients. Uh, James and Dimna headed to bed around, I don't know, maybe an hour ago. Um, they're sleeping outside under the tarp, uh, but I guess they got some really warm stuff, so hopefully they're good over there. I am uh, sleeping in my hot tent, and I'm on my cot, which is amazing. Um, I know that I can't take this into the backcountry, but I wish I could. It's, like, so great. Um... I'm so much higher off the ground. I think it's something like 18 inches. And um, what a huge difference it makes. It's so much warmer up here. And not only that, but underneath the cot, I can put all my stuff. Um, when I sleep there, I don't have that room. I lose it, which again, it's not a big deal. It's just me, but it makes a huge difference as far as the space. I couldn't believe that James and Dimpna and I were all sitting in here hanging out together tonight for Oh, at least a couple hours um, and it was just lovely it was toasty warm and um, I feel great right now it's like super nice and toasty in here it was a great day we set up had some lunch and then uh, James and Dibna went to feed the dog and when they came back we went for a snowshoe for a couple hours um, to I can't remember what the name of the trail is but it's at the end of the campground uh, cranberry, something about cranberries, <laughs> red cranberry trail, something like that. Anyways, we did a little bit of that, um, maybe half of it, and then came back, and uh, then we had dinner, and then we just kind of hung out. So, um, anyways, I'm gonna go to sleep. I'm super tired, and uh, I'll see you tomorrow. Hi. I just got up to use the privy and stoke the fire. It's about 11.30 and uh, it's not super hot in the tent, which I like. I've been uh, closing the damper mostly, so I um, just opened the door there to take a nice little video of the fire, but um, it's just nice and comfortable. Not too hot, not too cold. It's been beautiful having the stove going in here. Um, I forgot how much I love the hot tent and uh, 
super happy to be here. Good morning, it is uh, 7 a.m. Just went out and took a few pictures. I'm um, waiting for the sun to come up. And uh, got some hot water here on the stove for James and Dipna when they get up because they're probably going to be pretty cold. Um, I've had that on since about 5 o'clock this morning so it could heat up real nice. And uh, just hanging out in my tent right now. Absolutely gorgeous here on George Lake this morning. Well, I had my eggs hanging, uh, my food hanging up from the tree, and it's frozen. <laughs> I brought them in a couple hours ago, but the yolks are still frozen, so. I guess uh, I'm not making an omelet. <laughs> Can't scramble it. Alright, so I cooked my food up on the stove. Um, I kind of have a fried egg omelet. <laughs> um, I couldn't scramble the eggs because the yolks were still frozen. So I just cooked them like this. And then um, I put some cheese in between and folded them over. So it should be pretty tasty. Just got some English muffins with some strawberry jam and some bacon that I heated up in the foil there. Um, and I'm going to eat this before it gets cold. Well, Dimna said her and James slept well. They were nice and comfy cozy. <laughs> Molly's taking up residence right in front of the stove, so I think she's warming up nicely. Well, you guys are all packed up. Ready to yeah. go. Ready to go. Finally got yeah. them on video. They didn't want to go on video. I don't know why. <laughs> they don't want to be seen we with me. We don't want to do video. <laughs> <laughs> Did you have a good time? Awesome. Yeah, that yeah? was really fun. You guys were cold last night or what? No. Wasn't I too think, bad. Uh, we filled the ground a bit through the mat, but yeah. that was it, yeah. No, it was surprisingly warm. Yeah. I like the tent, your hot tent, before we went to bed, but. Yeah, that's luxurious. Nice to no, hang I liked it. Yeah, it is. And it all fits on there. <laughs> so it's easy peasy. <laughs> it's easy peasy too. Yeah. I'm okay. I was toasty warm, so. Yeah, um, you were. Molly wanted to be in your tent for sure. Molly, Did you want to be in Christina's Mo tent? <laughs> yeah, she's freezing. Molly loved being in my tent. She just <laughs> stood outside the door waiting. <laughs> All right, so you guys are heading off. We yeah. Are. yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, it was great camping with you. It was. I'm too. glad you came. Yeah. yeah. yeah we we're are. just getting ready for Antarctica. So, yeah, we're getting ready. I was going to say I hope to do it again, but maybe in the summer. Yeah. <laughs> okay. okay, well, have sure. a safe drive home. All right. thanks. And uh, thanks for hanging out. Yeah, thanks. it was fun. Bye. Bye. Well, James and Dimpna have an appointment to get to, so they are off. They're all packed up and ready to go. Uh oh. Well, James and Dimna have cleared out, and uh, I am going to pack up my tent. I have to uh, get the stove out first so it can cool down and um, put whatever coals are in the fire pit there. Um, and then I'll just shovel some snow on it to make sure that it's out. So, got my sled partially loaded up. Uh, this box has the stove in it, all the pipes. Um, that's pretty much everything. All the pipes fit inside of it. This bin here, uh, I'm starting to use this year. That has pretty much everything in it. It's got my sleeping bag, my thermo rest, my pillow, my chair, uh, my pots and pans set, um, my food bag, everything uh, except the tent, which uh, I'm going to take down next and load up. Okay, I got the stove, all my gear. And the tent on there. Alright, so there's the finished package. Um, 
I have the cod on there, so it was, it's a little higher than normal. Um, plus James and Dimna left almost a, well, between what I had left and what they had left, there was a whole bag of firewood, so I'll put that in there too. I might as well take it for my next trip, so um, I've got everything ready to go. I've covered up where my tent was, put some snow there, and uh, it's falling right now actually, so probably in an hour or two, you won't even know I was there. I'm just about ready to go. I had a great time. Uh, it was really awesome surprise to have James and Jim Dimpna join me. Um, something that was uh, just decided last minute yesterday. And um, they just kind of packed up a bunch of stuff and came along. So it was great to uh, camp with them and spend some time with them other than being out in kayaks in the water, uh, which is awesome too. But um, for those of you who don't know, James and Dimpna are um, the owners of Ontario Sea Kayak Centre and they are both coaches of mine. Um, um, right now the snow is falling. It's super pretty out. Great time. Love being out. Perfect temperatures for winter camping this weekend. We have snow. It wasn't too cold. I think last night was minus 10, uh, minus 14 with the wind chill. It was minus 23, um, but I was toasty warm in my tent. So love my hot tent. I'm still so glad I made it and still a little bummed about the stand, but such is life. Not everything's going to be perfect all the time. So what are you going to do? Anyways, I'm going to make my way out. So. I will see you soon. Bye. Thanks for watching. Of course, <laughs> the last stretch on the way out is all uphill. <laughs>